everyone, Kelly here. Today I'm going to be doing my ghost hunting experiences. Um, this is the last one I went to, um, which was last weekend. It was at the Little Dean Jail and it was in Gloucester. It was nine, uh, 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. So it was kind of light when we went there. Well, it was light when we went there. Um, it was just a four hour investigation. It was £25 each and it was with Haunted Happenings. As I said, this is one of the earlier ones we've ever been on. We usually go on them about nine or ten o'clock, but this was like five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but it was dark in there anyway, so that was good. Um, Little Dean Jail, you can walk around this place, um, it has been on the telly, I think it was on like an antique road show kind of thing, um, because they have like memorabilia in there, um, so I mean, as soon as you walk in you've got like Chucky dolls, um, you've got Lady Gaga boots um, which were signed, um, you've got Amy Winehouse's shoes, Amy Winehouse's airpiece, I think there was Amy Winehouse's bra, Mel B's knickers, um, there's everything in there, um, it's a really really fre freaky place, there's two headed animals in there, there's Bonkin, um, what was it, Jilly, Billy and Jilly Bonkin and monkeys, all this is real. Um, that place, the things in there, oh, there's a torture room in there, there's an electric chair, everything's signed by the people, um, you've got Laura Croft in there, you have great big grizzly bears, um, you have Yoda, it is a really, really strange place to do a ghost hunt, um, really, really strange, um, you think... How can this be haunted? Um, but I love this place and I really, really want to do this one again. Um, first of all, we could have a look around and take photos. Photos will be inserted at the end of this video. Some freaky ones of Chucky and Laura Croft and yeah, so keep an eye out for them. So we had a walk around, we could take photos and then we had the talk and then we just went straight into it. First of all, um, they were going to do the workshop, but because me and Philip had done that and another couple of people had done that, we went with this um, girl, Vicky, um, which was like the ho host, or yeah, the host. Um, and she, and we stood in this one room asking for things to happen and down the other side of the room we could hear creaks um, so we went down there, it was by the toilet and then we was asking that again and then you could hear like if you can hear that tapping on glass um, we made it out that it was by the side of us on I think it was Lady Gaga's boots because it's all in glass cabinets um, so it was on there and um, so we was all around there and I think somebody see a shadow, but then it was somebody from outside walking in, which freaked us out. And then we was asking for more things to happen. Um, nothing was happening. He kept even a little taps. Um, and then we went back, and then we got split into to, split into groups. And then we first went with Vicky again. We went into this um, one room. And in there we did table tipping and um, the table was going like a good one. Um, Philip had to sit down because table tipping it's a back do it. it really really hurts your back when you just stood there with your hands on the table and you're oh, the back and Philip was sat down. So I said he was doing table tipping it was really really rocking it just kept going to Philip it was stuck to Philip it wouldn't move from Philip. So we brought it out and said um, take the table to where um, where you are and then it went and it kept going to Philip again and um, so we pulled it out and said can you take this table out um, outside of the door like um, and it was saying we were sort of saying yeah come on take us for a walk um, or can't you do it I don't think you can do it and it was going but it kept going on the ledge like it didn't want it was too scared to go out of the door 
Um, so we was asking it that. We said, are you too scared to go out of the door? Um, please move the table if you are. And the table moved. Um, and then we had, um, had to go on the glass on there. Um, we didn't have a go at Ouija board here because there's people that live like in the same building, the Little Dean Jail, um, and they didn't want us to do um, a Ouija board, um, so they respected their wishes and we didn't do a Ouija board, but we was all right to do um, glass moving. We had glass moving and again, that was moving really, really good and it's the same person who was um, moving the table. Um, and it was a little boy um, and is he was a I'm not going to say the word but I'm just going to say he he didn't know who his father was um, he didn't know his father so you know the other word for that um, and then his um, mother was a prostitute um, and then it was time to go um, I think we had a drink and then we went where the other group was and um, they went in the cells and um, we all had to stay in a cell all by ourselves um, nothing was happening in mine or Philip's or a couple of others either um, but this one girl she kept seeing the face coming up to her um, and she kept feeling like somebody was pulling on her hair um, and then we all decided um, to go in this one cell where all that was happening and we was holding hands and uh, the host was outside, it was a bloke, um, and he was asking um, for things to happen to us in the room, um, to push somebody and it ended up it was pushing Phil. Um, so every time Phil moved, me and the other person next to him had to say he was moving to say yes or no to the host that was outside. Um, so he was asking questions like, are you in the cell with them? If so, push Phil forward and he would go forward. Um, and if the question was no, he'd go backwards. And you could feel this. Um, Philip couldn't feel that it was happening to him, but when he was holding hands with him, you could feel him edging forward or edging backwards. Um, and then the host that was outside of the cells, by the way, the cell was pitch black, Oh, also in the cells we could hear tapping noises um, but nothing much happened and the host outside um, was getting freaked out because he kept seeing shadows um, yeah he was getting really really freaked out so he decided to come in the cells and asked if anybody wanted to go outside of the cell so Philip volunteered and he went out there he was asking for things to happen um, but he was getting knocks again and then that finished and we went outside and then Philip was saying you see a shadow plain as day it went like it was going from one cell to the other cell right at the top of the hallway um, and he said also somebody flicked his ear um, so I think that freaked him out and then it was time for another drink and time for a group vigil so all the boys were outside the cell that we, I was talking about before and all the girls were holding hands inside the cell. Um, this was fine to begin with. Um, seemed to be a lot of stuff happening outside the cell so us girls were okay. And then all of a sudden it went really really dark, really really cold. Um, one of the mediums was getting really, really angry um, and just felt weird, she kept saying. And then somebody was stroking somebody's hair. And then all of a sudden, a girl opposite us and another girl opposite, opposite, opposite us says, Oh my God. And we was like, what's the matter? What's the matter? And they were saying, what was they saying? They were saying that, there's a face on the wall, there's a face on the wall, look, look, there's a face on the wall. And all us were going, where, where? And they go, there on the wall. Of course it's dark, you don't know where they're pointing or where they're on about. And then the medium turned around um, and she said, it's right behind you lot. 
it was behind me and this other girl. Of course, I was trying to look to see if I could see the face, but the girl was like pulling my hand. She was scared stiff. And then she started crying um, and she almost pulled my arm off. Um, and again, they kept saying, there's a face again, there's a face again, and I couldn't see it. Um, and then we was calling out again and the face kept appearing. And then all of a sudden, this woman next to me, um, it was like I was holding hands with, um, exactly the same time we both said that somebody stood in front of us and we both said at the same time they've got a hood on um it was like it was like a monk with like a hood on and you could i could see it plain in my face um it was horrible um i really 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 freaked out in there then um it was just oh really freaky um, she was freaking out. I was freaking out. I was starting to shake. My heart was pumping. Um, and then it was time to stop, which was good. Um, and it just disappeared. As soon as it came, it just disappeared just like that. Um, it was really, really freaky. Um, this is a great, great place. Um, as I said, you can walk around here. I think it is, is it five or seven pounds? Um, for adults to walk around this place and it is absolutely amazing um, things in there is brilliant um, so that was at Little Dean Jail that was with haunt Haunted Happenings that was a four hour investigation and I really really want to go back there um, so thank you so so much for watching um, I know I've got another ghost hunt coming up what am I going again not this Saturday, the Saturday after we are going to Falstaff's. Again, Most Haunted have been there. Um, and it's at Stratford. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to that one. Because that one is meant to be really, really active. Um, so i let you know how I got on with that one. So thank you so, so much for watching. Take care and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.